Thank you. Uh, I'm very grateful to be here. Every day has been a blessing. Today is a blessing. Um, there was this coffee shop I've been going to for the past three weeks. Yes, I've been visiting this coffee shop for the past three weeks. I like it. They have one of the best house coffee. Oh my God. One of the best, right? So I've made friends with two of the barristers in this coffee shop. One is called Christina and one is called Amanda, right? So three days ago, I went to the coffee shop and Amanda told me that, no, no, there's a cool guy here who has been coming around and she wants to talk to you. And I said, she, cool guy, a cool guy, she. So I started thinking and asking myself, do I remember this name? Because I don't remember meeting any woman called a cool guy or a lady, you know? So I'm like, so Amanda, she wants to talk to me about what? It's like, no. Amanda said, no, she's very intrigued about you and she was just asking questions about you. You know, she wanted to know who you were and stuff like that. So please, if you're here and she's here, go talk to her. She's our regular customer. So I'm like, okay, let me know. So, you know, I was just chilling, drinking my coffee. And within like 10 minutes, this beautiful, gorgeous, middle-aged woman walked into the coffee shop. And she sat right there. Two minutes after this lady walked into the coffee shop, Amanda came to me and Amanda said, that is the cougar. You should go talk to her. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, hmm, what do I have to talk to her about? What do I have to say? How do I address it? Do I say Mrs. Cougar, Miss Cougar, Madam Cougar? Because I don't know whether she's married or not, and I don't want to offend her by, you know, but if she's married, saying she, you know, all those kind of trying to be polite and all those, you know, political and in political politeness and whatnot in the call, you know. <laughs> so I was just, you know, thinking about it in my head. So I said, okay, I was just going to say, are you the Kuga? And maybe she may clarify it to be Mrs. Kuga or Miss Kuga or something, right? So that I will know how to address her, right? So I was like literally two feet to a table to ask her, are you the Kuga, right? And she said, hello. So when she said hello, I said, oh, hello. And I said, my name is Nana. It's like, yeah, I know who you are. Yesterday night I was here when we were playing the music. I said, oh, okay, okay, okay. I was playing the Kora. Kora is an African instrument. It's so a 21 string. It's like, yes, I saw the instrument. I wanted to talk to you about it. You know, I really like the music. So we end up talking about African music, you know, a little bit about life and where I am and stuff like that and my upbringing and stuff like that. So within like 20, 30 minutes, I run out of things to say, right? So <laughs> I ask permission to leave. But all the time we were talking, at the back of my mind, I wanted to say, so Miss Kuga, Mrs. Kuga, you know, what do you do and stuff like that. But every time I wanted to mention the name, something was telling me, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, because you don't know whether she's Mrs. or Miss and stuff like that, right? You know, and I don't want to say just Kuga, you know, because that may not be nice, or Madam Kuga, that would have been all right. But I was like, okay, just, just, just take your time. So, you know, I left, I went home. The next day, I went to the coffee shop. And I asked Amanda, I said, Amanda, so, Mrs. Kuga, Miss Kuga, how long has she been coming and what does she do and stuff like that? And Amanda said, don't ever call her Mrs. Kuga or Miss Kuga or Kuga in her face. I said, what? You said her name is Kuga. <laughs> then Amanda said, no, Kuga is a cat. Really? I thought that was her name. 